a very good morning to the students of class 9 today in the subject english literature we are going to study the lesson the portrait of a lady which is chapter 4 in your textbook and this is part 1 of the chapter is that clear the portrait of a lady by who is the author kushwant singh who is the author kushwant singh the portrait of a lady that is the name of the lesson what does portrait mean it is Painting, drawing or the photograph of a person. In this lesson, it is a lady. Because we are saying it's a drawing or a picture or a painting. About who is it? A lady. That's what we are going to study in this chapter. Kushwan Singh is an Indian writer in English. He was born on 2nd February 1914. He is a prominent Indian novelist and journalist. Singh's weekly column with malice towards one and all carried by several newspapers is among the most widely read columns in the country. So he used to write for the newspapers and what was the name of that weekly column? With malice towards one and all. Now you can see he is Mr. Kushwant Singh. Singh is best known for his penchant secularism, his humor and an abiding love for poetry. So he had secularism, penchant secularism, his humor love for making jokes. He's written a lot of books on humor also and an abiding love for poetry. He wrote poetry also. He is the recipient of the Padma Bhushan in 1974 and Padma Vibhushan in 2007. He was one of the editors of the famed Illustrated Weekly of India. There used to be a magazine, Illustrated Weekly of India. Penchant means a strong or habitual liking for something. So he, write to, he had a strong liking for writing about secularism, for humor and for writing some poetry. Is that clear? Now this is the warm-up activity in your textbooks. We are going to speak about grandparents. You know who grandparents are? The parents of your father or the parents of your mother. What are the parents of your father called? No. Very good. Paternal. And the uh, grandparents who are from your mother's side? Maternal. Very good. We have studied all this. So your maternal grandparents, your paternal grandparents, their age, the way you celebrate their birthdays, their favorite food and pastimes. So, you have to write all these things. Now you are in the ninth standard and I am sure you definitely know those who have grandparents, who have interacted with them, lived with them, know them. You can even find out now. And you have to write all this in your notebook under two columns, paternal separately, maternal separately, their names, what they did, what is was their occupation, are they literate, illiterate, what have they, which is their favorite item of food or what do they like to do when they are free? All this. And when you keep all this and look at it, you will understand that you know them much better. And maybe when you have a grandparents day or you want to celebrate their birthday, you can call them and wish them. That will make them very, very, very happy. Even later on in life, you can send them a gift with your first salary that you earn and that will make them extremely proud of you because your you children are caring for them. Is that clear children? 
Next, we move up to the second part of it. How do you plan to celebrate your grandparents' day? The day, date and time people you would like to invite. Suppose you're given a chance. Go ahead and celebrate your grandparents' day. So, what all will you plan? First, you have to plan the day, which is most convenient for many people to attend. Then you'll do the date. Find out the date. And of course, the time, because... Whomever you want to come must be present at that time. And who are the people whom you would like to invite? Would you like to take it up even as a school function where you have a grandparents day? Think about it. Collect photos if any and prepare a speech or share your experiences with them. Discuss their importance in the family. Today it is a very, very sad stage to tell, to understand that many children who have grown up are not ready to keep their parents but they send them to old age homes or other places and the children, their children miss out on the love of these grandparents. Now children, just think if you could get a photo of your grandfather, grandmother, in those days I don't know whether they had but if you can get it. And you share some of their experience, ask them to share some experience, right? Find out from them how life has been, what they have done, how did they, where have they reached now, how much they struggled in life. And then you tell how important they are for your family. It will make a wonderful day for them because they have put in their best for their children to be able to support and live and bring you all up. So it will. it is the biggest gift you can give your grandparents if you can wish them on their birthday, do something special from your side within your means and capacities. If you cannot do anything, at least speak something well about them and that will make it a great day of remembrance for them. So to summarize, Name of the chapter. What is the name of the chapter? The portrait of a lady. Very good. Meaning of portrait? Yes, drawing, picture, etc. Author's name? Kushwan Singh and some details about him. The warm-up activity? Please don't take this lightly. We want all of you to find out about your grandparents Write something about them, something very nice you know about them. And if you can meet them and talk to them now in this period, when you have, when you are free, contact them, find out details, what they like, how they like to dress, which is their favorite food, what they would do in their pastime. Jot everything down in your books and see if you can do something knowing more about them. Grandparents Day. Suppose you are given the charge of organizing a Grandparents Day in school. How will you do it and when? Here are some questions for you. Name your paternal grandparents. What is their age? Where do they stay? Where do your maternal grandparents stay? How often do you visit them? What do your maternal grandparents like the most? What is the favorite pastime of your paternal grandparents? Yes, I'm sure you can write all this down in your notebooks. Thank you students. Sairam.